charges. The charges came out of an investigation into the Air India plane crash and an explosion at the Tokyo airport. 331 people died in the two incidents. But the lawyer for the accused says the charges have nothing to do with at least one of the events. Karen Webb reports. The two men arrived at the courthouse early this morning in handcuffs. They had been kept in the RCMP lockup overnight. Inderjit Singh Rayat. He's been charged with making an explosive substance with intent to endanger life or cause serious damage to property. Making or possessing explosives enabling another person to endanger life or cause serious damage to property. And illegal possession of explosives. Talvinder Singh Parmar. He's been charged with illegal possession of explosives. The RCMP alleged the offences occurred between June 3rd and June 24th of this year. Neither man said anything, either outside or inside court. Neither showed any emotion. The arrests happened two days ago when a special RCMP task force swept through Greater Vancouver. It was searching for evidence linking the June 23rd Air India crash, the Japanese airport bombing of the same day, and British Columbia's Sikh community. 2,000 Sikhs live in Duncan on Vancouver Island. It's normally just a quiet retirement community. Now the Sikh community here is worried about the two accused men. One is a local electronics technician. The other is a militant leader of a Vancouver religious group, determined to create a Sikh homeland from India's Punjab. Several Sikhs came to court this morning to offer support to the two men. They are convinced the Indian government is behind the charges. Indian government agents are here, those who are bought by the Indian government, they are getting money from Indian government, spending lots of money out. And behind that, there is a Russian policy behind that. The defense lawyer is worried his clients won't get a fair trial because of comments the RCMP have made about their investigation into an explosion at Japan's Narita airport. David Gibbon says as far as he's concerned, the charges his clients face now have nothing to do with that bomb. It's best that... Uh, Nothing is said about the case uh, other than what's said in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. right? Could you That's my preference. That Could, excuse me, gentlemen. The two men left court to go back to jail. They'll be there almost a week until their bail hearing next Thursday. Immediately after the court appearance this morning, Duncan Sikhs met with the defense lawyer at their temple. They wanted to pray and to start collecting money for a defense fund. The money will be added to a similar fund in Vancouver. It's needed to defend the two men and many feel to defend their religion. Karen Webb, CBC News.